No matter what kind of cryptocurrency it is you need to be ready to hold on to it, if you want to make money now, I'm going to talk quickly about that in this video. Because a lot of people are going through it right now, I know what you mean, because I feel the same way about buying in cryptocurrencies, I'm a stock market folks are losing their minds, because the market has been in a very bad bear market, for two years things are beginning to sound good so sell when you're back above break even, and take your gains, I'm not sure if leaving is always the best thing to do the majority of us will go through it, but if you don't you miss out on the chance to make a lot of money let's talk about it, and look at two really strong cases, okay, let's begin let's go if that sounds like something you'd be interested, and we all know the story of the Shiba Inu coin dealer, who put doll 8,000 worth of coins into something that is now worth more than 5 billion, we're going to talk about him a bit in this film, I'm going to talk about someone we never hear of why, do we not know about this other man to explain he sold a Shiba Inu coin, too soon, if he hadn't, he would have had huge amounts of money in his cryptocurrency pocket, we should talk about what's going on and what it means for us during this bear market. Even though I know you want to sell I've heard that once you're above the water, you should get out of it right away instead of continuing to rise when it comes to Shiba Inu coin and all other cryptocurrencies. I think a lot of us have thought that we've been down for a long time people who want to ride the wave when we start to rise again should buy the story goes that a Shiba Inu investor shares an investment strategy that helped him make more than 5 billion and free themselves from poverty, I won't read the whole thing because it sounds really interesting the Shiba Inu token has a great image in the world of digital assets, but I don't think the person who put 18,000 into a meme coin was poor to begin with he definitely made a lot of money, no one can argue with that you can follow the blockchain, it's clear how much money was made there for example, it says that SHIB made a lot of millionaires and even a few billionaires in its early years, one Shiba Inu owner stands out though, because his $8 million investment grew very quickly to an amazing $5.7 billion. I won't go over all the $700 million per gains and other things like that, but this guy pretty much did he also bought a Shiba Inu coin worth $18,000 over the course of several orders instead of all at once after going through many changes, the Shiba Inu coin that was worth $18,000 was now worth $5.7 billion. The man was ready to touch it. I also think that he has a good number of ship, and is still ready to hold them, even if he doesn't have every single one. It makes sense that he'd have seen a big drop in his earnings, the amount of $5.7 billion was the highest it had ever been, it's not clear how much has been sold, and the money has been split up into several pockets, it was doll $5.7 billion back then, but now it's only about $500 million, which is a big difference, it should have been, one five point seven. so the Person would have lost 4.5 bill million door, the real price was 1.5.2, a lot of money would have been lost for him along the way that will make you feel sick still, that's a huge amount of money, and you'll never need it right now, we want to know how he did it, that's all I have to say about it, he bought something pretty early, and was ready to hold on to it, he kept it up through those all-time highs, the drop in 2020, the beginning of 2021, and in the end of 2020, I thought at first that the man was not awake, because he was willing to hold a $5 billion Shiba Inu coin, who in their right mind would think that something is worth dollar billion, but you know those Shiba Inu coins did split apart and move from there back in the day, I guess he was able to get to his cash you guys have never heard this story before someone just put a video on YouTube about a man from Dubai who bought $14,000 worth of Shiba Inu coins and then sold them for the same amount, the next part of the story, says that a man bought Shiba Inu coins in Dubai in August for about $4,000 each everyone wasn't sure if Shiba Inu coin was a rug pull just a joke or something else when he and his friends walked in he still bought it for $44,000 because it was called a Dogecoin rival Dogecoin was doing really well at the time which made some people think that this would do well too it didn't happen sadly though it fell down first it was said that Shiba Inus did very badly in 2020 it went down at the end of the third quarter of 2020, and then slowly began to go up again, we all know how much money 5 quadrillion Shiba Inu coins are worth now, he spent a lot of money on 5 trillion Shiba Inu coins, and then a lot of it disappeared his friends, sold it for less than it was worth he sold, all 5 trillion Shiba and new coins as soon as the price began to rise again to even things out as of now, he had no idea what would happen. But if he hadn't known the stake would have grown to $70 million Shiba Inu coin that cost him $14,000 
was sold for the same amount, making a profit of $14,000. If it had made it through that drop, he would have had $70 million. What are you guys supposed to learn from this? It's likely that this guy from Dubai will tempt a lot of us in the same ways at the moment. We think this bear market is very bad, doesn't make sense, let's get our money back, as soon as we're making money again, cut our ties. And then let's go, but why not hold on to some cryptocurrency, if you think that digital currencies, not just Shiba Inu coins will be around for a long time, then read on why not just wait, and see what comes up don't be the kind of man who leaves, and then feels bad about it, he stayed like the person who could have lost 5.2 billion dollars between the highest point. And now that person who doesn't sell during a big bull run and then feels bad about it later, it is very important that you understand these two methods and learn from them, hold on through bad markets if we want to make money during bull markets and avoid losing money during bear markets.